Hello YouTubers, so today's video will be on how to wire this Valcom V1013B track speaker here. So, this wire here is pre-attached to this already for factory. And there's a legend in the back, which if you, we'll, we'll go over that here in a little bit. What, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using this 3.5 mil cable with the other end chopped off. You'll usually get greeted with three wires. This copper, this bare copper wire is ground. Now, some cables may have a red, white, and a green. That green is ground. Sometimes, some, cable, some manufacturers do it differently. But most of the time, you'll get greeted with this. You want to take your red and white and twist them together like so. That is your left and right channels because you want it to go through this speaker completely. Here's another one here. Same thing. You, may, you might get greeted with this type of cable too. You'll still have your red and the white. You still want to twist them together. But also you'll get greeted with two bare copper wires. You want to twist the two together like that. Now, if you chop off an end of a cable, a 3.5 mil cable, and you get greeted with this kind of wire, take this, throw in the garbage. It's no good. Those are prone to shorting. Now, for my power source here, I just have a variable bench power supply. I set it to 24 volts, and it's at 250 milliamps, but ideally, you want to use a power supply like this. Or something equivalent. This particular one was designed to drive these. So there's a model there. So now. We're going to take another look back at the sticker here. Take note of all these color codes. So the green wire is tip. The red wire is my ring. Negative 24 volts is white. And my ground is black, which is positive. That's the positive lead. We'll put this back down. Let's prefabricate my 3.5 mil cable here. We're going to make tip. We're going to make the tip red or yellow. We'll make it yellow. And then we're going to make my rig white. Like so. And now I'm going to pre-attach the other ends to this wire here. So yellow was my tip. We're going to land that on green. And then we're going to land my ring on red. My white on the red. Now we're going to take this bench power supply I have. There's my leads here. This might confuse a lot of you, but that's the way how Valcom did it. So we're going to take this black here, and we're going to land it on this white. Because that is my negative 24 volts going in to the, connecting to the Valcom speaker. Here's my red. That's going to land on black. My black wire. Like that. So now... All my connections are made, so now we're going to energize this power supply. You should hear a pop. And there you go, there's a pop. Now I'm going to connect it to my laptop, because that's my audio source. And there you go. It's connected, and now I should be able to play music. So there you go. That's about how much current this is taking. In terms of the volume control on this, take a flat blade screwdriver and light it up to the groove in there.
here's the power draw. Now, in terms of wire, if you're gonna, you know, do hard, permanent runs, something like this will be sufficient enough. This happens to be this telephone four conductor cable here. Comes with four conductors. If you have this lying around, great. But if you also have Cat5, it'll also work fine too. But with the Cat5 cable, you don't need all those pairs. There's four pairs. You only need two out of the four. You just untwist the two pairs. And then you'll have four wires that run straight to this. That is sufficient enough for these speakers. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. Stay tuned for more.